Hey everyone, it's Sue here, and today I wanted to talk about inductive Bible study. So this type of study um, is new to me. Um, I've been Bible journaling for 10 years, um, but this specific type of studying is different for me, and I wanted to give it a try. So I'm going to um, give you my opinions and uh, let you know if it's something that I think that I will continue to do or, or not. So I am working in Psalm 119, which happens to be the longest Psalm that there is. Um, it has, I think, what, 176 verses, but I'm only working on verses one through eight. So it's kind of in sections, which makes it easier to study. But what I wanna do first is I wanna go ahead and read the verses to you. So Psalm 119 verses one through eight reads, blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with their whole heart, who also do no wrong, but walk in his ways. You have commanded your precepts to be kept diligently. Oh, that my ways may be steadfast in keeping your statutes. Then I shall not be put to shame, having my eyes fixed on all your commandments. I will praise you with an upright heart. When I learn your righteous rules, I will keep your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. So I think that inductive Bible study is a really um, normal or natural way that a lot of people study their Bibles. And uh, let me just read to you what it actually means. So from gotquestions.com. So inductive Bible study is an approach to God's word focusing on three steps, observation, interpretation, and application. And it tends to be a more general focus. It's not very detailed in the focus. Um, and it is like the reasoning behind an inductive study is the attempt to use information about a specific situation to draw a conclusion. And of course, that's really awesome, right? That's why we study the Bible, because we want to understand it. And so I watched a video recently from Judy, who is um, Flourish in His Word, is her YouTube channel, and I will have her link so that you can check her out. And she really explained it really, really, really well. So I really suggest you go and watch her video. But what it is, in a nutshell, is um, taking scripture and marking it up in the way you see me doing here with different colors, uh, maybe some underlining, some circling, whatever it is that you want to do. Um, and this is kind of my little chart right here of the different colors and what they mean. So when you see me putting pink on here, it's more of like a verb or action type word. Um, so like blessed or do or walk or commanded, right? So they're all an action type word. And anything that you see circled, which I'm doing here, is more about like a noun or a person. I, I mean, my rules are very general. Um, you know, it's not super specific, um, but just in general. So like those words I have circled right there are I, my, your, you, 
me. So, so that's how I know that that's um, that it's a person talking or referring to a person, that type of thing. So you're going to see I mark this these verses all up. I mean, there's almost no words that are not marked, <laughs> which is probably not exactly right. It's my first time. I haven't done this before. And so I actually did all this markup before I did that chart that I showed you. Um, so, and maybe that's not the right way to do it either, but you have to start somewhere, right? So I'm the kind of person that I'm just going to dive in and then kind of figure it out later, right? So at this point, I mean, I still have some questions that I want to answer about these verses. And I have some words I wanted to do um, to look up and do some research. So I still have more to do for this specific study of these eight verses. Um, but what I'm showing you here is like I have those verses marked up. And like I said, you know, I came in afterwards and kind of did my little chart on what the different colors meant or the different markings. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, but while I'm doing this, let me tell you my thoughts for me personally um, about this type of study. Um, I think, I, I don't know that it's me. Um, I tend to like to study special topics. So take, for example, take the word mountain, right? Like I want to do a study on the word mountain from the Old Testament, you know, to see how it's used in the verses and it's often used, um, relating to God's power um, and that sort of thing. So I think that that study would be awesome to do. Or I like prophecy. Oh my gosh, I could study prophecy for the rest of my life. Um, I like to um, study the names of God. I like to, so I like to, like that's, that's more how I like to study and learn the word. And um, so this inductive Bible study, now, mind you, I read the verses multiple times, which is very good. In fact, when I was writing this chart, I ended up even... Um, highlighting even more things than I originally did. So it's like going back the second time, the third time, and you're reading it and rereading it and thinking about it, you, you find more things, right? Which is really, really, really awesome. Um, so I don't have anything negative to say about this study. Um, if it's your thing, will I continue this type of study? Will I finish Psalm 119 in this type of study? Will I do other verses in the Bible? I'm sure I will. I'm, I'm still wrapping my head around the whole thing though, because like, so now like you'll see me, I end up writing a list of all the, you know, everything that I highlighted, like all the verbs, all the nouns, I actually have a list written. But like, so, <laughs> so, so I have the list, I have everything highlighted. And then it's like, yeah, <laughs> so what's next? So the only thing I can really think of is that, like I said, I still have questions that I wanted to research and some words to research, like the word precepts from verse four. You know, I wanted to do a little study on that or the word steadfast from verse five. Um, but here is where I'm writing 
all of these things down that I have marked in those verses. So I have my list. So will I actually take the time to do all that research of my questions and the words that I, I want to understand better? Um, I need to, because I think that that's a big part of this study, right? Um, so that is where it does get more detailed is like that next step where you take what you've learned so far from all of the markings that you have done. And then what do you do with that? So I, I think I will like, so my, so it's two days after I actually did this. And as the days are going by, I'm liking this type of study more and more. At first, I was like, okay, great. So what do I do with all these verbs and all these nouns and all these questions? And, you know, but the fact is, is, well, I need to go the next step. And so like here, I'm writing down the questions. Um, and so, you know what? It's a Bible study. So I can take these questions and I can do research for them, like on the law of the Lord, which is the Ten Commandments. So, yeah, so I have to figure out what I'm going to do next. But um, can I recommend this type of study to you? Absolutely. I say just do it. Just dive in and do it and see if you like it like I did. I'm going to give it a chance. I'm definitely going to give it a chance. But I am excited to do other types of Bible studies as well. And this isn't getting me creative in my Bible. Like I like to get artsy, right? I like to get color on like the, the so this is an interleaved Bible. So there's always a blank page. And I like to get color onto that and, I don't know, do uh, journaling cards and tip-ins and stamps and just all kinds of stuff. So that is also what gets me excited about studying the Bible is being creative in that sort of a way. So I have to figure that out, how to bring that into this type of study. So here's some pictures of what I did and um, I think it's a good first step but let me know what you think and um, yeah yeah it, it was it was definitely a good thing to go through for sure um, I hope that this blessed you and if you would please hit that subscribe button bye bye everybody